you got this going, you've got your book published. Yeah. What's in the future for Carl English, both in this building and beyond this facility? I'm focused on this right now. Um, I've got a fair investment in here, and I'd like to make this as successful as possible. I think when in certain types of business, the reward in this is you're touching so many people. We got over 300 kids. This, I think, will grow to over 500 in the near future. So, um, for me, the more people and the more athletes and the more families we can help, it just makes it all rewarding for me. It makes it that much more investment. So, that's the first initial goal. Uh, we got a few things coming down the pipe that will eventually pop out. But for me, I'm just happy to be back at the sport I love. Um, I'm with my family all the time, so I got no complaints right now. And well, thank you for being so generous of time and spirit. I no. really encourage our viewers out there, pick up your book, learn about your story. I'll repeat myself and I'll never forget being a kid going away to university, yeah. picking up Sports Illustrated, and there's a two-page cover spread on this good-looking guy from Newfoundland <laughs> who shoots thousands of jump shots every day out in the cold and sleet and snow. You're the Jimmy Chipwood yeah. of Newfoundland from the movie uh, Hoosiers. Yeah. And you've manifested this incredible life. So uh, final thoughts for the viewers or any advice out there? I mean, I look around and I look at this facility and I think, you know, what would I have accomplished and would it be the same? And I'm not sure the answer to that. What I do here is I keep people grounded and I teach you the correct way to train. Um, but I find accountability is the most powerful thing of all. Um, you can go through the motions and you can play to be in this facility, but when you agree to come in here, I'm on you and I'm doing whatever I can to get the best version of you, whatever that looks like. I'm not saying we got the next this, the next that. I don't know what that is, but I guarantee when you come through the door, we're gonna push you to places you've never been before. We're gonna teach you. And it's, it's, in, it's in a safe, loving environment. I tell the parents, so when I pick my teams, I meet with the parents and they have to accept my invitation. Not so much the kids, the parents have to accept it. And all I ask them for is complete trust in me. And I said, when the kid goes home and he's having a tough day, I need you to give him lots of love because we'll be on him and push him and then I'll love him as well. So uh, there's a different way. So I've taken basically everywhere I've went and I've kind of put it all together into the best coaches and even lessons I've learned from the worst coaches. You know, the crazy, I had some crazy ones. <laughs> but I've put all that together and that's kind of my style. So it's a very unique style and I'm gonna hold you to a different level, but then I'm also gonna pick you up and give you that confidence that you need. I feel confidence will, you can slay a dragon with confidence. You know what I mean? And it's a different level between being confident and cocky. So my high school coach always used to tell me, be hungry and humble, but be confident and not cocky. So I'm always, even today, I'm still humble as possible I can be, but I'm really confident in my abilities and what I'm here to offer. And that's the thing. And that's what I want to try to instill with these kids because it's a tough time being a kid coming off COVID and the things that they had to go through there at that point. So with us, if I can give you back that passion, I always say you have to believe in yourself or no one else will. And if you can conceive it, you can, you can achieve it. What Definitely. looks like a basketball academy is actually a training center Definitely. for mind, body, and soul. <laughs> Thank you for being a real hero Appreciate to it. both uh, this generation and the generation coming up. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure.